Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome to the Friday edition of Sport Beat and Super Screen uh, Television. My name is Olakunle Philip, and there's so much that we're going to be talking about uh, in the world of sport this afternoon. Uh, we will dash uh, to England, where we'll be looking at um, that gentleman, uh, the one we call Gentleman Chairman, Chairman Christian Chuku, who is out there in the United Kingdom. Uh, about to begin to receive treatment and of course um, a lot of people are saying it's a good move towards the right direction because they say uh, the efforts of our heroes must not be in vain. We'll talk about Chris Chuko right here on Spot Bay this afternoon. We'll also uh, be looking at the match day 20 of the MPFL. We saw some surprising results uh, over there in different um, centers. And of course, uh, Kano Pillars uh, were in devastating form, uh, going there out there uh, to pick an away, a win away from home. We'll talk about the MPFL right here on the show. We'll also uh, be talking about the National Under-20 team. The team will be competing uh, at the Under-20 World Cup uh, in Poland. And of course, uh, the, the chairman of the Nigerian Football Federation is talking tough ahead of the tournament. Remember, just on Wednesday, uh, the coach of the side, Paul Ibogu, is also saying it's very imperative for the team uh, to notch up their, their win, uh, like they, they win in their first game against Qatar. How will this pan out? Our time will tell. And of course, we'll talk about that also on the show this afternoon. Also, dash to the NBA, where we're seeing a lot of exciting games in the NBA playoff. Uh, it was a sweet one for the Golden State Warriors. And of course, I will wait to see how far uh, they will go go this time around. We'll talk about the NBA playoff right here, also on Sportbeat. And of course, wait for it, uh, the German Bundesliga is going to be rounding off this weekend. And you remember, uh, right here on Super Screen Television, we have always have uh, been showing you all the games live as it unfolds. And of course, this weekend wouldn't be an exception because the two teams go for broke uh, against uh, their respective opponents, talking about Bayern Munich. And of course, Borussia Dortmund, two points separates the two teams. And I tell you, anything can just happen this weekend, but we'll wait to see how things will go. All this and more, you will get to enjoy on today's edition of Sport Bay. Just like we always say, sit back, relax, and enjoy the very best of sport. Once again, my name is Olakule Philip, and I've got the diva, Francesca Mubu, to join me, joining me on the show this afternoon. Good afternoon, Francesca. Good afternoon to you. It's good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to be on the show with you. Olakule, I love the name, <laughs> the way you pronounce the name. A lot of live beliefs. Yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> All right. Good to have you here. Yeah, also, always nice to Yeah, it's show. always very good uh, that we start from home. And that's exactly what we always do uh, because they say charity begins exactly. at home. Of course, we'll be talking about the former Super Eagles captain and, of course, coach uh, in person of Chairman Christian Chuku is out there in London, our uh, United Kingdom. Uh, about to begin uh, to begin to receive treatment uh, under the auspices of uh, Amadou Melvin Pinnick, who has actually arranged for an appointment with a renowned cardiologist in London. Uh, Francis I think this is a good move towards the right direction because a lot of people are saying, with the NFF Abaddon, Chairman Christian Chuko, but they've really been spontaneous. And this is a good move towards the right direction. Yes, a very good move towards this um, direction. Very nice direction. Remember, um, there was a time when it seems like nothing was going to happen. But mm. with the coming in of the Nigerian Football Federation and all, also other, uh, one of the philanthropists, philanthropists. who mm. has also came to support yeah, um, Christian with a sum of $50,000. You, you can imagine that that's a huge amount of money. Then it speaks volume. You see, one thing I keep to say is may our uh, may, uh, work of the, the labor uh, of our, our heroes, heroes not, not go, in vain. go in vain. Because we know mm -hmm. the days of Christian Chukwu a fantastic. Remember, he was a captain of the team. Yeah. That was in 1980. 80, uh, 1980. Uh, I'm sorry for me. <laughs> maybe I wasn't born then. but I was, I, was, I was very young. I was pretty yeah, young then. Yeah, but well, I know that he did something fantastic on the field of play for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Then they weren't called... Um, they called were called the, the Green Eagles. The Green Eagles. They weren't Absolutely. called... At this point in time, Eagles. they were called the Red Devils. And it was it that changed to the Green Eagles before they became the Super Eagles? Exactly. After they actually got to the final of the 1990 African Cup of Nations. Yes. So, and after that, after his playing days, he moved on into coaching um, career. And I also remember he once coached 
Super Eagles. Super Eagles. Yeah, in 2002. Also some, also some local teams too, especially Enugu Rangers. Enugu Rangers, Rangers was yeah. going back and forth today, going, um, replacing him, replacing mm. some other coaches, coming in just like that. But in all of this, we know that Christian Chukwu is a fantastic, is one of the best, um, um, how would I put it, one of the Sp best sport, uh, sport personality, personality. Or sportmanship right, in, his, in, his day, in his days of playing for the country and also working for the country. So I would have felt so bad if his case wasn't looked into. But mm. then I have to commend um, the efforts of the Nigerian Football Federation with despite um, whatever a lot of people have come out to say. The good thing is that a man is there to recognize him. You can see him standing there, the yeah. person of Ahmad Jupin. Yeah. Yes, he stood there with alongside Christian Chuku sitting and, and the, also the wife, the wife too. Yeah. It tells you that he feels consigned for um, people like this. It's so sad that some of them, at the end of the day, when they, 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 when they have maybe put in their best for um, the country, it's they country. are not remembered. But with something like it, it tells you that maybe as time progresses, we'll see something different. Not mm. the days of, oh, like the likes of late Rashidi Yekini, mm. remember what happened. Yeah. And now a lot of people are talking, oh, if he were to be alive, this is what um, we ought yeah. to have done for him. Or mm. It shouldn't be done that way yeah. at least give them that maximum support when they have put in their best for the country when they are retired the country too should be able um to to assist them so good one for um nigerian football federation all so right. we are looking forward to see other people too who are who, who are in cases like not necessarily maybe sickness cases but mm. um Kule, you know what we are talking about most of all these ex-internationals they are offering uh, all around there yeah. if you go to the national stadium you can see them, you, you see them you looking tattered and all of that you can when they tell you that they once played they once wear the Super Eagles um, Jesse. Jesse. You won't, you won't believe it. So mm. I'm looking for it. Shouldn't be, it shouldn't end with Christian Chuku um, mm. Christian Chuku. Every other person too should who has who has who has worked for the country one way or the other should be able to receive benefits like this. Too. All Maybe right. a welfare uh, account uh, can be uh, Yes, uh, we're still gonna come yeah. back to that because um, the NFF are looking towards uh, that part as well. I remember the case of with Fred Agbona Barry. Yeah. Uh, that man I used to see back then for uh, you know raising Compostela uh, in uh, the Spanish league. He was he was a very fantastic goalkeeper, exactly. one of the best uh, in the Spanish league. But um, you know after I stopped uh, you know uh, stopped playing football, active football. Uh, we didn't see him. He wasn't in the spotlight for a very long time. And all of a sudden, we saw him in the hospital That's looking the very slim. slim and then I felt very bad. Before anybody could say anything, the, 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 the man left uh, Mother Head. It's really very sad. And is that and, it, and the, the, the former Super Eagles uh, captain and coach, uh, Christian Chuku, has come out to say uh, it's just about stomach offset and waist pains has been the issue. Uh, but uh, the, the doctors in Nigeria has been able to solve the issue of the stomach offset, but he kept having the waist pains. And I can assure that, you know, I can be so sure uh, with, um, you know, the, the kind of uh, experts uh, that Amadio uh, Pinnick has been able to secure uh, for him to actually get the job done. I'm sure that Christian Chuku will return back to the country exactly. hale and hearty. Um, Kunle, I think we have to just commend um, Amadio Pinnick. Yes, we might, some people might want to say, oh, in some aspects he's not been doing well, but, but I think in this aspect he's done well. You can't be all-round perfect. You can't be all-round perfect. Remember what happened to, uh, what's his name, our former goalkeeper who was now retired as a goalkeeper, yeah. um, Paul Ikeme. Paul Ikeme. We, Ikeme. We knew how the Nigerian Football Federation rally, rallied round with the support from his club too. Mm. They came together and also assisted um, and Carl Ikeme and at the end of the day, he was cured from the leukemia mm. that he was um, he suffered then. And yeah. now, as we speak currently, with the aid and support from Nigerian Football Federation, he's been free from cancer and all of that. So I think we just have to commend Amadjo Pini for this job that is well done. <laughs> and we are looking forward some to some people will not yeah. talk about some people will not agree with you. The truth is when things when the things are when done, you, when you when do you do well, right, yeah, you know, we have to you have, we have to, to be shower, commended. You know. Yes, we have to we Yeah, have I to think kudos to go to Amadjo Melvin Phoenix uh, for being proactive uh, in this matter precisely. And uh, we just hope that things will continue uh, in that vein. And of course, uh, the, the president, uh, uh, Major Pinnick, has also said he will, uh, the NFF 
World Institute and Welfare Foundation uh, for formal Nigerian international players to guarantee um, ready fundings in case of lingering um, health situations, health, uh, you know, uh, bad health, uh, like um, um, Christian Chuku suffered, they will have, if they are able to institute a welfare foundation for super, uh, Nigerian ex-internationals, it will be very easy for them to take from the money and cater for the needs of our ex-internationals. Yes, very, very true. It's so easy for them. But the question now is, would there be a continuity? Yes, he might want to do that, but what happens when he leaves office? Mm. Let, it, let him start first. Uh, let him start <laughs> first. But you've always <laughs> known the problem we have here in our country, Nigeria. Mm. That spirit, that mentality of continuity is not always there. So someone might have intention to do something, but another person who is coming in, into that office, will that person continue? That's a big question. And another thing is um, accountability. Hope all of those things, they can account for it. Oh, if this money is going for um, this particular thing, if it's going for this particular reason, please, there should be need for accountability because it's only when you account for things like this, that's when more will want to be given okay. to you and all of that. Mm. But it's a welcome development, it's a welcome idea. Like we've said earlier, we've seen a lot of our ex-internationals and also sports personnel, uh, personnel who have done well for the country in their active days. And when things like this uh, comes up, they, you can, they can get a support. But with the coming in of welfare accounts and all of that, I think it can be minimal. It might not be over, overwritten, or it might not be written off, but at least it will be reduced. There will be a minimal, oh, bring, bring. Okay, there is an account for this, there is mm. an account for this. And yeah. let's see what we can do, how we can help you. Because a lot of people have died because of cases like this. Mm. Because the truth is, it's all about money. Yes. Especially when you are, when you are going you know, through when, when, when sickness men, and all when, of that. When they when during their uh, football, footballing days, there was no much money. There was money no money there. Uh, and, um, um, like it's obtainable now. Exactly. And I think at this point in time, I want to encourage and advise the ones who are currently in active, um, um, in, in yeah. active football or sport or whatever. I think I want to encourage that. It's all about investment. The mm. money comes. It can't, you can't remain there forever. Mm. It's just a matter of time because there's something called a um, law of diminishing returns. Mm. Nature, we always set in. But what happens? What did you save in for your rainy days? Please, at this point in time, I want to encourage them. Please save, at least save something little. We understand the fact that the days of their own, they were, like you mentioned, there was no really money then. But what happens now? I don't want to see um, maybe an Ahmed Musa or a Mikhail Obi. I'm not saying, uh, I don't want to speak like a prophet of doom. <laughs> but when things happen like this, I don't want a situation whereby they say, oh, we don't have money. Mm. Because you and I know what we are talking about, especially Absolutely. when it comes to football and when it comes to sport, there is money. So it's all about investing. So if you invest, when cases like this come, I don't think there is need for you to worry. Yes, there's need for the footballers to actually make proper investments so that when situations like these arise, they will be able to cater for themselves and, of course, uh, their family. Kudos to uh, the president of the Nigerian Football Federation in person of Amaju Pini. We're not just showing uh, encomiums on in for nothing, but it's based on what he has done so far. Samuel. And I think he really deserves all the accolades. Still talking about the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Amadou Pinnick. He has come out to say he will give uh, the national under 20 team all the support needed uh, to ensure a, a, a good outing at the, uh, the forthcoming under 20 uh, FIFA World Cup to take center stage in Poland. Uh, Maju Pinnick has said all oh, everything that is needed uh, for the team to succeed uh, will be given to them. Just remember just a couple of days ago, the, the coach of the side, Paul Aibobo, also said uh, it's very important for them to get a win in their first game against Qatar. <laughs> 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 we just hope they do get their very first win. Um, against Qatar in that one, but the truth is, um, it might be pretty difficult um, for them. Yes, but when it comes to um, support, I think the NFF they have done a lot of support. But the support they give to um, Super Rugby of Nigeria cannot be over emphasized. Um, yeah, it's the apex. Uh, yeah, it's it's the apex, apex of, of, of you, you know, you know what we are talking about. Yeah. Just wait and see what happens during the day when the nation's cup uh, <laughs> is about to kick off. But the truth is. 
at least those days, we used to know that when it, when it comes to under 17, under 20, there is no that massive support. But with the help of us always on the screen talking via radio um, or TV or via print or there about, at least, at least they've come to realize that this, uh, these teams too, they need that support. They might not be the, um, the senior national team, but for the fact that they are wearing um, the, uh, the country's jersey, they too, they need their support. So it's good that that support has been given to them. So far, so good. They've been, they've been outside of the country. Yes, Remember so how it used to be before. And so far, they, they've played a lot of games. I think they've played five games so far. Absolutely. They've won just one. To tell you that they're Let's not see. doing well, we just hope that this World Cup you know, the, will not, the, the, will the, not the, be a the, different The, the friendly uh, games are meant game. to actually see yeah, it's, it's a, the areas in which the Kule, team needs. As good as they need to last, work on. You are as good as your last game. Five games, if you tell me out of five games, even in, even won, in uh, the under, two, under 20 Nations drew, Cup, you drew two, they, they were not so impressive. They weren't impressive. It's not a pass mark. So mm. I feel that uh, Paul Aigbugun, he should, at this point in time, he should have identified the problem because we don't want to hear story. Remember on the 17th, as far as I'm concerned, we are very good when it comes to, um, sorry, on the 20th, not on the 17th. Yes, on the 17th, fantastic. Yes. Uh, they are always- well, On the 20th. Well, on the 20th, we are still struggling. But Paul, he's got the experience, he's got everything. And then we've been to the final on we've two different occasions. On two and different locations. So I, I just hope that Whatever he's doing at the end of the day, I don't want to see us leave at the group stage. At least quarterfinals, semifinals is still enough. We might not say, oh, final or bring the cup, but at least let's get to the quarterfinals or the semifinals. What, we, what I've seen so far with the team, I don't think I am impressed. Oh, come on. <laughs> Francisca is I not sounding to, yeah, like a I patriotic have to, Nigerian. I have to be realistic with uh, you because I just gave you Francisca, an information you, 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 that you, out of five, Five I'm sure if I ask you how games. far the Super Falcons will go oh, at the World Cup, what, what are you going to say? <laughs> I know what your, what, what your response will be. Uh, for me, I really still uh, have some confidence uh, in this on the 23 team, on the 20 that team, the that the Super Falcons. Come on, you'll see be, what will happen. You, they're going to, they, you'll they will see shock the world. will be an <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll wait to see how things will pan out with the under 20 team. Yeah, They've got 20. what it takes. Uh, they've got all the preparation they need to actually flourish uh, in the tournament. We wish them the very best. And we just hope that they will return back into the country with the elusive on the 20 Hopefully. World Cup. All Hopefully. right, let's speak. <laughs> All right, it's really very important that we actually uh, we go uh, to uh, give you the highlight of the game involving Nigeria and Libya. The game uh, was one of the games uh, the Sugar Eagles actually played, uh, you know, in preparation for the forthcoming African Cup of Nations. And of course, the Libyans got a real pasting of their lives. Enjoy the highlights. <laughs> 